Hello and welcome to In the Hyperloop. My name is Blake. Today we're talking with Hyper Poland. The group originated from the Warsaw University of Technology. They were well received at the SpaceX Hyperloop Design Weekend in Texas, which was the first one. They were a finalist at the SpaceX Hyperloop Pod Competition 2 last year. They've won the Building Information Modeling BIM Innovation Award in Dubai for Hyperloop Passenger Pods, Freight Pods, vacuum tubes, and three stations. They've worked with the Polish Postal Service for Hyperloop Logistics, and they have signed a letter of intent to build a test track with Poland's Railway Institute. Finally, HyperPoland is winner of Startup Europe Awards 2017 in the green category. Pavel and Katja, thank you so much for joining in the Hyperloop. Thank you for having us, Blake. Thank you. Um, so HyperPoland is a multidisciplinary team of experts, engineers, architects, and business developers working since 2015 on the development of, um, of Hyperloop. Uh, we cooperate with tech universities and research centers in Poland, IT companies, amazing architects from Chicago, Willer Kearns Architects, and commercial partners like Lot Polish Airlines, DB Schenker, the leader in supply chain uh, management and logistics solutions. Mm. We are also the winner of BIM for Innovation Awards during the Build Earth Life competition in Dubai in 2016, the winner of four Innovation Awards in Poland, the semi finalist of major European startup competitions among others, European Startup Prize for Mobility last year. We are having the headquarters in Warsaw, Poland, and second office in Berlin, Germany. And we're trying to expand to, to the Central European countries. At this, this. And Pavel, can you tell a little bit about how your role fits in Hyper Poland? Right now, I'm mainly focused no, a CTO of, the, of uh, R&D, uh, the development of the, the technology. However, it's, it's a kind of new, new technology. So uh, you, you, you must know that there are a lot of uh, there are sort of puzzles, a lot of uh, pieces that have to put together to integrate it. And well, that's that's quite tricky to, to do actually <laughs> yeah. in, in, in the Hyperloop because all the technologies uh, that are will be used in Hyperloop are all, already known, uh, but you have to. If, Put together and in, in some uh, good good way. So that's, that's it's not easy as a yeah, in, yeah. in both of your roles to kind of put all these different pieces together. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. That's it. So, how did uh, both of you become interested in Hyperloop, and what is Hyper Poland's goal? So, our goal is yeah. to launch the first Hyperloop inspired. Um, logistic no. platform right now. No, no. Yeah, in this globalized world, passengers and good transport station market is growing rapidly, uh, but the current infrastructure is not able to meet these increasing needs. Um, and the technology is the biggest priority for almost 50% of the European logistic companies, mm. but they are struggling with adopting this cutting edge. Uh, technology and during our studies for the um, Polish Post, um, Hyper Poland's logistic platform is a good solution for the for the logistic companies. Right, uh, because it changes everything when you have such fast timing of cargo. And so, what are your, some of your bigger challenges that you face as a team or individually? Or um, you've already touched upon a couple, but uh, well, uh, actually. Uh, for sure, one one of the challenges, maybe not the the biggest, uh, is uh, uh, good cooperation. For example, uh, we are uh, I'm I'm from Warsaw. Current Kasia is uh, living in in Berlin, so uh, there are a lot of uh, we have some engineers from uh, from other parts of Poland. Mm -hmm. That's why it's quite uh, it's challenging to to cooperate mm -hmm. on the on the team to, to to do it properly and to to make it. Efficient to, to, to work to, to make an R&D to develop the Hyperloop. However, it's possible, but as, as I said, it's really really challenging to, to do that. That's not easy for any uh, team. <laughs> you know, we've hit on some of the challenges that you face. What do you like working about in working in Hyper Poland or in the Hyperloop community or in your role in particular? Well, well 
I, I, I'm an engineer, so I, I, I really, really love uh, new as I, before these challenges, yeah, so related to Hyperloop to develop brand new technologies. Actually, you, you, you've, you've never seen before. That's really, really exciting for me, actually, so to do this, mm -hmm. to, to, to do it with, uh, with uh, people who, uh, who are as well really great engineers, business, business guys. So that's, that's a crazy project. However, I, it's very exciting and well, maybe it's all about this. So maybe to 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 make make something something new to create something for for people to to improve the, the people's life actually. So that's that that's it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, many people are just saying that we are doing science fiction and they don't believe that it will exist at all. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's also giving us the motivation just to go for it and to, to show them that it's possible and it will really change their lives and our lives um, and the lives of our children. And this is the amazing project and we really believe in it. So yeah, we'll do it further. Yeah, right, exactly. It's, it's not easy um, creating these new technologies and thinking outside the box. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of determination to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so shifting gears a little bit, um, to something a little lighter, if you could ask Elon Musk any question, Hyperloop related or not, what would it be? I have actually two questions, yep. <laughs> if, if I may, obviously. First question is, uh, I'm curious where is uh, the Tesla Roadster right now in this space? <laughs> because it's yeah, so it's probably some, 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 somewhere there, right? Or if, if I may direct him to, to Elon, where, where can I expect, expect him maybe in Poland? Because where there are a lot of uh, great projects here and maybe, well, I, I, invite, I, I invite him uh, to, to Poland maybe to, to visit. That's, that will be cool, really cool to, really to, cool. to, show, him, to show him what, we're, what we are doing here. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of cool engineering projects in Poland these days. So. Right, a lot. Well, Akasha and Pavel, thank you so much again for taking the time out of your day within the Hyperloop. For our viewers that want to learn more about HyperPoland, uh, where is the best place for them to go? You can always visit our website, www.hyperpoland.com. We're also very active on social media, so Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. And we're also exhibiting uh, our technology at the Tech First. Uh, the next one is Impact C in Warsaw for the center in, in Krakow, sorry, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, in a week. Cool. Um, and, and then in September, we are in Budapest in Hungary oh, cool. uh, with our prototype. So we are inviting everybody just to, just to right. see it and talk to our team. Yeah, wow. that's awesome. Well, thank you so much again. Thank, Thank you, Blake. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.